A Kanban board is a visual signboard showing the work to be done, work in progress, and work completed. It's a visual representation of a personal team or department's value stream. Kanban boards can be mapped out on a whiteboard, wall, or in dedicated Kanban software. Why use a Kanban board? The purpose is to give team members the ability to self-organize without continuous supervision. It allows them to pull the right work at the right time in the right sequence. What does a Kanban board look like? Kanban boards are typically divided into rows and columns, with work items represented by colorful cards carrying particular information about individual tasks as they move from start to finish through the process. Now that you know what a Kanban board is, let's talk about how to make one. What is workflow? Workflow is the sequence of steps that tasks or products go through from the start of work to finish. Visualizing this workflow is one of the most important elements of Kanban. To do this, we start by identifying the value stream. Value stream mapping is the process of naming the value adding steps a team or a person does to initiate and complete a piece of work. No matter the process, there will always be a list of activities that take an item and increase its value, allowing the end product to fetch a higher price. That list of activities is known as the value stream. The value stream provides clarity and creates a sort of high-level how-to. Step two, identify the scope of work. Once you know the value stream, decide what part you have control over, want to focus on, and visualize on a Kanban board. The value stream is your map. Now you need to find and mark the path. Choose highly repetitive parts of your value stream that engage specific groups. For example, a value stream for a software development company may look like this contract negotiations followed by coding, then project documentation and handoff. Project handoff is a one per project event, while many repetitive features occur during the coding process. So you may want to focus on this alone. For example, this sequence, feature requested, in coding, in testing, finish steps. For every feature a client request should go through. Step three, map the workflow stages to columns on a board. Now that you've identified the value stream and scope, it's time to make things visual. Next, get a board. It could be a wall, whiteboard, or an electronic style Kanban board. Break it into columns, one column for each stage of the workflow from left to right with the name of each stage on top. If the process is the same, but you have separate teams, introduce swim lanes horizontally on the board. Now you have the foundation of your Kanban board. Make sure it's in a place that everyone can see. Step four, define types of work and what done means for them. Are these physical products, generic tasks, or a mix? Do work items need approval or follow set standards? What conditions must be met for work to be considered done? Once you've identified these, assign a color for each type of work. Let your team know what each color means and the definitions of done work. For example, a software development team may deal with two types of work, customer requests on yellow cards that come directly from the customer and problem reports that come from the customer or an internal team. Done is defined by a completed request and no complaints for 15 days. Step five, decide on a card template for each type of work. What information is essential and should be expected on a card? Card templates may vary by work to highlight relevant information. Step six, place work items on Kanban cards. Now that you've decided the color and format of your cards, fill each task on a separate card and pin to the board according to the stage that they are in. Order cards in each column by their priority with the most urgent on top. Step seven, track the flow of work and review the process periodically. Tracking the status of work items and process allows you to identify bottlenecks and blockages. It's crucial that everyone can see the board. This will foster good team communication and make everyone aware of each other's responsibilities and availability. You now know how to make a Kanban board for yourself. Follow us to learn more about implementing it successfully.